Netflix's Athena is a French drama movie directed by Raymond Gavris. He tells the story of a Paris suburb that erupts into violence after the tragic death of a 13-year-old boy as the community rises in revolt seeking justice for the young boy. His three other brothers face individual dilemmas as they search for the killers. Divided by ideological conflicts, the brothers make their own decisions, leading to tragic and disastrous consequences. Athena plot synopsis Athena opens in the aftermath of the death of Vidir, a Muslim boy from a suburb in Paris's death sparks a revolt in the local community, and the rising tension starts taking a violent turn at years. Older brother Abdul is a decorated soldier in the military. He tries to handle the situation with diplomacy and entrusts the investigation of his brother's death to the authorities. However, the police themselves are suspects in idiot's murder, which is the primary cause of rage among the community. Meanwhile, it hears other brother Kareem leads a group of rebels during the protests and steals weapons from the police using Molotov cocktail bombs the rebels hide in Athena, a state with guns in display and extremist reaction to Eider's death. Parham seeks help from his eldest brother Mokhtar, a local drug dealer. However, Mokhtar is only concerned with his drug operations and refuses to take a stance elsewhere of the leads the evacuation of citizens from a local city. All of his mother is unaware of Karim's whereabouts and requests Abdul to protect his brother. A television news report reveals that idiot was bludgeoned and beaten to the ground by police, officers causing his death to police. Investigation suggests the possibility that the police officers who arrested and assaulted it here were not real officers. Instead, they are members of a small far-right group that is at the center of the Quadic state of the Athena Council estate. Meanwhile, Karm and his rebels hold a police officer named Jerome hostage in exchange for Jerome. The rebels demand the officers who kill the dear Abdullah offers to negotiate with Kareem, but the police ask him to stand down. Moreover, they threaten to arrest Abdullah if she does not follow the police. Orders nonetheless Abdul enters the Athena stay hoping to peacefully resolve the situation by speaking to Kareem Abdul and Kareem end up in a confrontation and Abdul uses the opportunity to flee with Jerome with their rebels and the police. Hunting him down Admiral turns to Mokhtar her for help Mokhtar reluctantly provide shelter to Abdul in the process Mokhtar reveals that he is Abdul's half-brother. Abba contacts the police and offers to hand over Jerome to clear his name. However Kareem and his rebels arrive on the scene before the police leading to a deadly fight the drastic turn of events leads to Abdul siding with the rebels and fighting for justice for Adir's death. Athena ending why does it all join the rebels as Admiral dead during the handoff with the police cream and his group of rebels try to get their hands. And Jerome Heim refuses to let Abdul escort Jerome to the police parums. Group starts a violent attack and they threaten to take down the place with their Molotov cocktail bombs after the police refuse to comply with cream and his group's demands they continue to pursue the mission to free Jerome as a result Kareem uses a Molotov cocktail bomb however before he can fire it at the police Karen gets shot and the bomb explodes on him Kareem dies in the explosion leaving a profound impact on Abdul the older brother is distraught at losing another sibling and his moral compass starts to shift Karim's death helps Abdul see the immorality within law enforcement in the trauma videos death strikes him as a result Abdul decides that he must fight to get justice for his brother's ear and Karim's death hence Abdul decides to join the rebels and replace his Karim as their leader Abel's change of allegiance is an indication of the anarchy unfolding in Athena estate and underlines the distress the community feels toward law authorities after Abdel takes charge of the rebels he refuses to hand over Jerome he demands that the police hand over Idris killers before he sets Jerome free during the negotiation with the police Abdul learns that the killers are members of a far-right group and not actual police officers however Abdel refuses to believe them and threatens to kill Jerome Jerome if his demands are not met one of the rebels Sebastian is planning to bomb the building where the rebels and Abdul are hiding with Jerome soon the police arrive and Abdul realizes his plan will never work as a result Abdul allows Jerome to leave and stays in the building as it explodes despite losing his moral sense Abdul cannot get justice for his brothers with his plan failing Abdul decides to die with his brother others leading to a tragic end of the family's conflict Abdul's death signifies the failure of the law authorities and highly the discrepancies in law and order. Ultimately, Abdul had decorated military. Officer is sucked into the chaos of anarchy caused by the socio-political conflicts. How did it or die who killed him? Hater's death kickstarts the film's events and remains a mystery throughout. The story his death triggers a violent reaction from the local community in the Athena estate. The film's final moments finally shed some light on Eater's death. The scene depicts a group of police officers beating it here 
after they beat the young boy the police officers leave him to die later we see the group removing their police uniforms and burning them the scene implies that the people were not actually officers as the police department had suspected furthermore as the men leave the scene a tattoo on their necks confirms that they are part of the far right group suspected of being behind the deer's death thus the film's climax proves that idea's death resulted from a hate crime against the community while the film does not detail the conflict within the local community the anarchic state of athena estate is reminiscent of the modern sociopolitista disputes across the globe and especially in france concerning the muslim community the film's ending confirms the reason behind idea's death is the hate seminating within the country stemming from political issues however idea's death is merely the inciting incident that leads the community to erupt into violence attention is already high and the same could be caused by the far-right group who is propagating hate and manipulating events to create disharmony among the citizens as a result the film also makes some social commentary on the state of policing and the resulting conflicts between law enforcement and citizens in the nation moreover by not detailing the root of the high tension in the Athena a state the film creates a genuinely uneasy and scary representation of the worst turn humanity can take without trust thank you for watching this video if you want more video like this then please like share and subscribe